hello and in this video in this video i want to discuss about the previous year solution of calcutta university physics honors question on 2023 which is electricity and magnetism cc3 paper for semester 2 you can see the total question paper this is question number 1 a to g then question number 2 a b c d question number 3 a b then question number 4 A B C question number five A B C question number six A B C D question number seven A B C. This is the total question paper of this set. At the first we will be discuss question number one and then question number two three then four five then six seven right. So let's start today's discussion. First question says starting from Gauss law obtain Poisson's equation in terms of electrostatic potential. You know the Gauss law which is in electrostatic said that in a closed surface. Uh, integration of electric flux closed surface integration of electric flux is the one by epsilon not times the charge enclosed by the surface right within the surface uh, closed surface this is closed volume now within the closed volume this is a charge q one by epsilon times this if there is any other medium this epsilon not becomes the epsilon that is the permittivity of this medium this can be written by gauss divergence theorem this Now closed surface integrals can be written as this not a uh, closed this 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 not closed okay this is volume integration this is surface integration so this volume integration will be like that if you comparing this there is also no closed here no closed here so if you comparing both side you can easily write down divergence e equals to rho by epsilon not Where rho is the volume charge density, that is the charge per unit. Well, if you taking the divergence of this, or you can write down the e, e uh, the relation between the electric field and the potential is the E equals to minus grad V. You know the relation the electric field is equals to minus grad V. You know this relation the relation between electric field and the uh, potential. electrostatic potential this is the electric field this is the electric field and v is the electrostatic potential electro static potential so this is the relation between electric field and electrostatic potential if you put this value at instant of e so you will get this relation grad square v equals to divergence of grad v this is the grad square v this is minus rho by epsilon This is the Poisson's equation in electrostatics. So I think clear about the derivation of Poisson's equation from the Gauss law. Next question says that divergence of r vector by r q equals to four by delta r vector. So if you taking this uh, formula, that is the formula is the uh, grad of phi a equals to grad phi dot a plus phi divergence of a. So this is one by R Q is phi and R vector one by R Q is phi R vector is a vector. So if you comparing this uh, 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 formula, if you use this formula, you get this two term. And grad of one by R Q, you know this is the simple derivative with respect to R with the R cap. So this grad of function of R can be written in the a prime R into R cap. R cap is the R vector by R. So It is the derivative is minus two by r to the power four, uh, minus three by r to the power four, and there is r so r to the power five with r vector, and this is r vector, and this uh, divergence of r r is nothing but three. You know, in vector analysis, that is divergence of r r is the position vector. The value of <laughs> divergence of r is three. So this is three. So r dot r is r square. So there is two missing of r. So this gives you three minus three by R Q, and this is three by R Q. So this finally gives you zero. But this is zero for R not equal to zero. But if R equals to zero, what happens? Then the divergence theorem with small square. If we take the small square of radius R around the origin, taking this volume integration of this this one, we will be get the, the uh, surface integral form. And this is one by r square ds. This gives you the uh, r cap by r square. So this one, and this is the four by r square. So this gives finally gives you four. Since this result is true regardless for the how small the radius r, uh, one can replace this by four pi r delta q r in the 
थ्री डायमेंशन डेल्टा क्यू आज थ्री डायमेंशन डेल्टा फांगशन सो दिस इज फोर पाई वेन आर इक्वल्स टू आर नट एंड दिस इज जीरो वेन आर नट इक्वल टू आर नट सो आई थिंक यू अंडारस्टैंड दि डेरिवेशन ऑफ दिस फर्मूला नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन से इज दैट चेक वे दैट द फॉलोइंग फील्ड इज पॉसिबल इलेक्ट्रोस्टैटिक फील्ड वेर द सिम्बल इज देयर इजियल मीनिंग एक्चुअली इन केस ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोस्टैटिक फील्ड यू नो दिस कार्ल ऑफ ई इक्वल्स टू जीरो फॉर फॉर इलेक्ट्रो स्टैटिक फील्ड फॉर इलेक्ट्रोस्टैटिक फील्ड कार्ल ऑफ ई इक्वल्स टू जीरो राइट सो इफ यू टेकिंग दि क्रॉस ऑफ दिस इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड यू बी गेट दिस डेल एल एक्स डेल एल वाई डेल एल एच एंड दिस इज टू एक्स माइनस वाई जेड स्क्वायर आई वन प्लस वाई स्क्वायर जेड्स सो आई कैप डेल एल वाई ऑफ दिस वन इज टू वाई जेड एंड डेल एल जेड ऑफ दिस वन इज माइनस टू वाई जेड सिमिलरली फॉर जे कैप देयर इज डेल एल एक्स ऑफ देयर इज नो एक्स फंक्शन दिस इज जीरो देयर इज नो जेड फंक्शन दिस इज जीरो फॉर के कैप दिस इज नो एक्स फंक्शन दिस इज जीरो दिस इज नो वाई फंक्शन दिस इज ऑल्सो जीरो सो फाइनली दिस इज जीरो सिंस कार्ड ऑफ ई इज जीरो सो ई इज द पॉसिबल इलेक्ट्रिसिटी फील्ड सो द गिवेन इन दिस एक्सप्रेशन दिस इज द पॉसिबल इलेक्ट्रोस्टैटिक फील्ड नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन से इज प्रूव दैट मैग्नेटिक फोर्स डू नॉट वर्क एक्चुअली द मैग्नेटिक फोर्स यू नो यू नो वेन ए चार्ज पार्टिकल एंटार उद इन ए मैग्नेटिक फील्ड दे आर एक्जैक्ट ए फोर्स लॉरेंज फोर्स दे आर एक्जैक्ट ए लॉरेंज फोर्स हुईज इज दि किऊ भि क्रस भी सो यू कैन सी दिस फोर्स इज पार्पेंडिकुलार टू बोथ भि एंड बी दैट इज द फोर्स इज पार्पेंडिकुलार टू दि भेलोसिटी अब द पार्टिकल दैट इज द डिरेक्शन अब दि मोशन अब द पार्टिकल दैट इज द डिसप्लेसमेंट एंड द फोर्स इज पार्पेंडिकुलार सीन्स द डिसप्लेसमेंट एंड फोर्स आर पार्पेंडिकुलार शो दि वार्क डान ऑन दिस चार्ज पार्टिकल ड्यू टू दि मैगनेटिक फोर्स इज जिरो बिकज दि इन इन दि वार्क डान एक्सप्रेशन दि डट प्रोडक्ट एंड कस नाइनटी इज जिरो सो द मैगनेटिक फोर्स डज नट डु नट डु एनी वार्क डु नट डु नट डु एनी वार्क डु नट एनी वार्क डु नट एनी वार्क गो टू द नेक्स्ट वन नेक्स्ट वन सेज ए लंग स्टेट कंडक्टर कैरिज ए कारेंट आई दिस लंग स्टेट कंडक्टर कैरेंट ए कारेंट आई डिटरमाइन द फोर्स पर यूनिट लेंथ ऑन द कंडक्टर वेन इट इज प्लेसड इन एन यूनिफॉर्म मैगनेटिक फील्ड सो दूनिट टू फाइंड आउट द फोर्स यूनिट टू फाइंड आउट द फोर्स पर यूनिट लेंथ ऑन द कंडक्टर वेन इट इज प्लेसड इन एन यूनिफॉर्म मैगनेटिक फील्ड सो कन्सिडार ए लंग स्टेट कंडक्टर कैरिज ए कारेंट आई वेन इट प्लेसड इन एन यूनिफॉर्म मैगनेटिक फील्ड बी then by lorentz force f equals to q v cross v that is uh, q is it and v l by t this cancel out there is a step i can write down q equals to it and v equals to l by t so this t cancel out you will be get i l cross v that is i l v sin theta in magnitude form right Hence, force for unit length for unit length, this will divided by L, so I V sine theta. Right, current and theta is the angle between the current and the magnetic field. Next question: Write down Maxwell electromagnetic field equation in free space, explaining its symbol. The Maxwell Equation is the divergence of v equals to zero, cos of v equals to minus del v del t. Divergence v equals to zero, cos of v equals to mu naught epsilon naught del v del t. E is the electric field, b is the magnetic field, mu naught is the permeability in free space, epsilon naught is the permittivity in the free space. Okay, so this is in free space. There is no charge. That's why this equation. Next question says, what is mean by resonance in LCR circuit? You know, this is a LCR circuit inductor, capacitor, resistor. In LCR circuit, there is a three inductance and a phase uh, along 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 this one. This is for KL or VL. Along that one, this is VC for capacitor and this is for VR. If VL equals to VC, then current and Voltage are in the same phase. Current and voltage are in the same phase. 
as they are is in same phase the maximum power you transfer then the energy loss minimum though according to uh, with the equation or frequency with the power the nature will be like that so at that particular frequency these two are equal these two are equal and these two means the uh, reactance that is chi l must be equals to chi c chi l is the omega l and chi c is the 1 by omega c so omega square equals to 1 by lc so omega equals to 1 by root under lc from omega you will be find out the frequency that is f equals to nothing but omega by 2 pi omega is the angular frequency and f is the only frequency f is the frequency omega is the angular frequency so i think clear about the solution of this question if there is any doubt you must in the comment in the comment box okay in the upcoming session we will be continue next to question okay this is all about me this is my contact details and this is my youtube channel so take care we will meet in the next video as soon as possible thank you